Hey everyone, Erica here, Barefoot Instructor, and I'm here to bring you a deep stretch class today. We're going to start with our feet slightly wider than hips, so a little bit more narrow than we usually start class. We're going to drop our head to one side, put same side arm on top to add a little weight, keeping space between the shoulder and the ear, and keeping our chin forward. Be sure that your toes are nice and spread out and that you're not sinking down on the spine. Change your hand to the back of your head, looking down at the same side diagonal. Option to bring your arm out and away from the body, behind the back and hold if you like. Spreading out those toes, keeping the toes point, pointed forward. And release, we're gonna drop the head to the other side, add a little bit of weight on top. Moving the hand to the back of the head, looking down at the same side leg. Option to reach your opposite hand away from the body, behind the back and hold. Gentle engagement of the abdominals, spreading those toes, grounding through all four corners of the foot. And release, we're gonna circle the head in one direction. Send it back in the other direction. Next time we get to neutral, we're going to look down and roll down sequentially. Hands reach the ground, shake the head yes and no. Soften the elbows. Soften the knees. Swing the upper body right and left. Bring it back to center. Extend through the elbows. Extend through the knees. Coming up to your fingertips, looking forward. And bringing the hand back down and releasing and relaxing over. The plie, bend the knees, roll up sequentially, one vertebra at a time. When we get to the top, roll the shoulders back for four. Add your elbows. Add your full arms. Take your time anywhere that you want to that feels tight. those arms and swing them open. Keeping slight engagement in the abdominals, standing up nice and tall. We're going to catch one arm across the front space, hug it in close to the body, and then we're going to shift. Keeping the hips somewhat square at the front, so you don't want to bring the hips all the way with you and bend the knees. Switch other side, other arm, and add those twists. And switch this time, the elbow's bent and it goes right underneath your chin. Opposite arm pushes that elbow to the back of the room. Relax that hand that's behind you, find your twist. Switch other side. Switch one arm overhead. Switch other side. And we're going to go back to that 
first arm overhead. Really opening up the sternum. And then we're gonna shift side to side, lateral stretch. At any time, if it feels good to one side, you can contract, glue the belly button to the spine. Roll forward and roll up. And then we'll switch. So let's place that other arm behind your head. And same thing here. Hands down, stepping the feet close together. Send the weight in the back of your feet, so in the heels. Send the weight in the front, so in the balls. Get that weight centered. We're gonna plie bend the knees. We're gonna peel the heels high up off the ground. Then we're gonna lift through those hips to make straight legs. And then set the heels back down. So we plie bend the knees. And then we lift the heels high off the mat. Extend the hips to the ceiling. And lower the heels down. Last time. Then we're going to reverse that. So we're going to lift the heels as high as we can off the mat, bending the knees, putting those heels down, coming back to neutral. Uh, again, releve, lift the heels. Bend the knees, keeping those heels up, sending the heels down, back to neutral last time. And we're going to grand plie or bend those knees all the way down. We'll stay here, rounded for a quick stretch. You can shift forward and backward to feel what different muscles are tight, where you might like to hang out and spend a little more time. You can bring the arms inside, turn the knees out. And then we're all just gonna find our own way to seated. So we're coming down to our mats. And we're gonna start with um, one leg in front of the other. So we're not stacking our legs like we do sometimes, we're actually having one out in front of the other. Kind of doesn't matter which leg that you do first, so don't worry about that. Taking one arm out um, to the side, we're gonna bring the elbow all the way down to our mat and stretch the opposite arm up overhead. We wanna make sure that our shoulder's seated so we're not taking it off the body. You look down at the hand that's on the mat and then up at the elbow overhead. Then we're gonna contract and round. And then we're gonna take that top arm and do three slow circles, following it with our focus. Mm -hmm. 
After the third one, we shampoo our hair. Pull that elbow open to the ceiling. You can look up at it if that feels good. You can look straight forward or you can look down. Reaching that top arm up. It's as if someone's gonna grab your hand or your wrist and pull you up. Let the arm down, shake it out if you need to. And then we'll do the same thing other side. Contract and round over. Three circles. Shampoo the hair. Reaching that top arm up and pull and let it down. So now we're just simply going to switch so that our other leg is in front. You can start on the same side with the same arm as you did before or another side is up to you. We're going to start the same way, taking a nice side curve over. We're going to do one circle to the back and when we get back to our side curve we're going to drop and swing everything in the front and pull it up and over, send it back, drop and swing everything in the front and ending in our stretch. Then we're going to contract with the belly button to the spine and roll up. And then we'll do the same thing other side. So find that arm down on your mat. We're going to do one circle. Arm arrives back where we started. Drop and swing through. Up and over. A little toss. Drop and swing through. Contract and bring it back up to neutral. We're going to take those legs through. So nice flexed feet out in front of us, walking down and grabbing wherever we can on every exhale, trying to get the body closer to the legs. Same side hand attached to foot, opposite arm is going to thread through, turn and look over that same side shoulder. And we're going to switch, same thing, other side. Bring it back to neutral, extend through, looking forward, and then round over and rolling up. We're going to bend those knees, take your hands behind you, fingertips pointing forward. We've done this one in the past few classes, so we should have it down by now. Once we press up into our 
basically tabletop position. We're going to think of pulling our elbows in together so that we can get a deep shoulder stretch here. So fingertips pointing forward really close to our sits bones, pushing hips and everything up. So now from this point, I'm squeezing my elbows close to each other and I can feel the stretch in my shoulders. If it feels good to let your head go, you can do that. If it feels better to drop your hips, you can do that. You might also find that you get a deeper stretch the further you reach your hips to the ceiling. I like to look side to side and check in, make sure I'm not holding any tension in my head and neck. And we are ready, lower it down. Then we're gonna send those feet behind us, hands forward. Do some cat cow. So exhale, contract, glue the belly button to the spine. And reach head away from tail. Again. And then sit back for child's pose. And keep one arm out overhead and the other arm's going to thread through. The arm that's overhead, you can walk your fingertips back behind your head to get a deeper shoulder stretch here. And we're going to switch sides. Bring it back to neutral. We're gonna keep our feet together and send our knees apart. Walk it all the way down here. Take a relaxation pose up top and keep working your stretch on the bottom. So if you don't feel a big stretch and you're already like in your full frog position, you can walk your hips back. So we're bringing our tail closer to our heels or walk it forward. So everyone's anatomy is different. So find the place that challenges you. Then we're gonna come forward, so I'm extending my legs long behind me. Pushing up to a baby cobra, rolling through the head and neck again, one way and then the other. We're gonna take it down onto the ground. So, I'm taking my left arm out at a 90 degree angle, turning and looking away from it. I'm keeping my right arm in close to my chest. Then I'm taking my right leg behind me until I feel a stretch in the left side. So if you feel a stretch here or here or here, that's fine. You can keep your leg here and hover. If you don't feel a stretch yet, you can go all the way back until you touch. Um, if you're having a hard time accessing the stretch at all, then you can play with bending and straightening that knee.
and we're gonna switch to the other side. Taking that right arm out at a 90 degree angle, bringing that left arm in close to the chest. Right leg stays where it is, left leg crosses that behind. And when you're finished, bring it back, rising all the way up to full cobra. You might find, like I did on that stretch that we just did, um, one side's more tight than the other, totally normal. You can always adjust the arm um, if you need it to be less intense, taking a little bit more overhead and less of a 90 degree angle. Sitting everything back to our knees. We're gonna take one last head and neck stretch here so just quickly one side diagonal other side diagonal and we'll roll it through one wing and the other Rolling it up, we're gonna shift our rib cage. So we're really trying to shift our ribs and feel a stretch in the tissue. So take it beyond your comfort zone for this stretch. And shift it forward and backwards. Take it around in circles. Thank you so much for stretching with me today. I look forward to seeing you all again soon.